lovelies, welcome to... Now it's the finale. Now we're at the end of the game. <laughs> so last time we did all the fights. The optional secret boss fight. We did it all. I did that all in one night, which I was oh, so happy about. We're at the end of the game. And I made sure to stock up everyone with the best... Well, <laughs> well you guys don't have anything, but... Uh, you know what? <laughs> Let's give you guys something. I have so many elixirs, like, might as well. So, I think it's time for us to enter this door. Huh? That's wrong! Don't you hear something? There! Careful. This is the last haven you will find here. Beyond, there is no light to protect you. But don't be afraid. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. Remember, you are the one who will open the door to the light. I don't hear anything. Strange. The voice was so familiar. Maybe that was just my imagination. Maybe you better take a rest. Gosh. <laughs> Goofy didn't say anything. I'm just, uh, observing <laughs> the situation at hand. So hot. I, I have to turn off the fan <laughs> because it messes with audio, but I'm so hot. Oh, guys, look, we're back at Destiny Island. Do, 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 do. Wait, is, this, oh. is this my island? Yeah, look. Hey, Sora, you feel lucky today? <laughs> Titus, where are you? Uh, oh. Well, oh. Um, Waka. Uh, so Sophie. Selfie? So <gasps> the tree's gone. How am I gonna share with my palpu fruit with Riku now? Oh gosh. Oh the water's gone! <laughs> Everything's fading. Oh the tree's lumpy. I never noticed that before. I'm gonna glide over there. <clears throat> oh! I didn't know that was an invisible wall there. Oh, I can't even enter there. Well, there's only one place we can go. This world has been connected. Oh, what was that? Oh, so spooky. Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely... Are we listening to some good ASMR right now? so very much to learn. Ah! It's turned into goo. Who understands so little. Sure, the purple flirt. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. You know, I was expecting my, like, controller to vibrate with the <laughs> shaking scene. Ah! Oh. I look so cool. <laughs> oh! It's Riku! <laughs> Riku's here! Let's go see your buddy Riku. He totally isn't, like, not Riku. Haha. <laughs> Riku! <laughs> Take a look at this tiny place. To the heart seeking freedom, this island is a prison, surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from his prison. He sought a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. Riku! No! Oh, no! Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness. And all so end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true. <laughs> sort of like, you're wrong. Your heart may be weak. <laughs> you're stupid. You're stupid. You may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. God, I remember doing this fight over and over again without skipping cutscenes, by the way. So you have come this far, and still you understand nothing. Every light must fade. Every heart return to darkness. Ah. Oh. Oh, who that? Oh, god dang. God dang. So many things I know now. Four. 
Oh, well, I didn't use- I didn't mean to use that, but okay. Wind. Let's see how powerful I am against the Seeker of Darkness over here. <laughs> Come, Guardian! Oh my god, he didn't do anything. Oh, I should have kept the, the Trinity, because that- that, uh, that move is really cool, and I never used- Well, I used it in the unknown fight, but man, it'd be really good here. Have I not gotten hit once? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, this phase is really easy, so... I don't think I ever really had a big issue. He doesn't even- look like he doesn't even attack! It's like, whatever. No, oh, I did nothing, and I'm defeated! How is this possible? Also, you can totally make a drinking game out of how many times each character in the series says darkness. This is where it all started, folks. Ah! <laughs> See, you would think again. You would think again my control would be like, -la 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 -la. but no, it's only for Pluto smacking Sora down to the ground. <laughs> Look, now we're in a bowling alley <laughs> from the 90s. Uh, I wish bowling alleys still looked like that. It was so cool. Ooh, so spooky. This is this is the one that I always goofed up on. Of course. I can't believe the invisible shield. Those trap looks. Oh, it's our friend! Dark side. How's it been, buddy? I remembered you killed me in the first part, and that was really embarrassing of me. <laughs> Yeah, I could probably fly by this. Oh, we got a little dark ball. This is revenge from dying. <laughs> wow, yeah, I am very <laughs> I'm a powerful little boy. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Put that thing we came back from, or some help me. <laughs> I want. There we go. Oh, he's gonna do his- ah! And his little friends are gonna come out. I think. Where are your- Oh, shadows! Oh. He helped get my materia. Oh. Ooh, mama. Ooh, mama, I just beat the man of the hour. Ah! <laughs> Dark Sugar is not defeated. This is the one that always goofed me. This is the- Haha! -ha. Oh! Oh! I need to be very cautious of this one. You know, I'm balling with items. Oh, I don't have slide! I forgot to equip that, but it's fine. Come Guardian! Give Sora a big hug to darkness! <laughs> it's like, that sounds good! Oh, shoot! Oh, god. <laughs> I think I, I always forget how to do that. Oh god! Oh Jesus! That's my no-no square. Don't do that. That'd be weird. Get the dark side out of me! Or whatever the heck, I forgot this man's name. The, the stand that you have. Yeah, I remember this. Um, killing you. <laughs> and getting your Riku back. <laughs> He's my friend. <laughs> okay. Now I'm good. Oh shoot. Come. Ah! <laughs> I love how he bubbles back. Just you. Wow. <laughs> I'm a strong. 14 year old boy, you can't touch this! <laughs> oh, I. See, I didn't even drink this much of my coffee. <laughs> but I'm very hyped today. I'm as hyped to beat a game! Gorge. What? <laughs> Behold the endless abyss. Within it lies the heart of all worlds. Kingdom heart. There it is. <laughs> Look as hard as you are able. You'll not find even the smallest glimmer of light. 
From those dark depths are all hearts born. Even yours. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Darkness conquers all! Oh, it's a little... Ah. I still think this design is pretty freaking radical. And then you have like little goofy spells like, oh, and then you have... Ugh. That is terrifying, but I love it. I love you too. I would kiss. <laughs> Duh! There's Jack Skeleton in the middle. Whoa. Oh. Giving up already? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. Ah! Oh. He remembered his friend. <laughs> oh, look at him go! You can fly. You can fly. Yeah, this final fight's really fun. Oh my god, he's shirtless. Welcome to the final destination. Oh, sweet! I got all my MP and health back. That's nice. Thanks, game. <laughs> this man says, if you took a shot every single time this man said darkness in this fight, you would probably be sent to darkness yourself, because you wouldn't be alive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at- I mean, look at your- look at your health bar, my guy. Look at my health bar. Ow. Guys, look, we beat the bats! It would not be that simple. That would be really upsetting if that was the case. I beat a shirtless man to death! He's doing a Jojo though. <laughs> God, I do wonder where Donald and Goofy went. Oh, I should probably heal. Imagine me not dying to the man of darkness, but I died of freaking these guys. That would have been really depressing. This is it. Goofy! Donald! Where are you guys? I miss you. You're my new parents. Bluey. Wee. <laughs> the most epic of roles. I didn't realize like his like arms have like a cloak sort of thing on its sleeves. That's really cool. Get the tweet out. And some singing a beauty nap. <laughs> yeah, these are uh, weirdly shaped. <laughs> I had to point out the obvious. Gosh, there we go. Wow! <laughs> by like one. <laughs> like literally just by like one hit. Little, little wiener thing you guys did. Oh. <laughs> My wieners! <laughs> there you. Oh god. Back into- oh, okay. Portal to darkness. My favorite. Oh gosh. Go, in go into the portal of darkness, sweetie. Ooh. Sora. <laughs> Let me go into the portal of darkness! This is not what you wanted? I- you know what, maybe- oh, okay. <laughs> go, Fee! Aww! He immediately gave me MP. Wow. I'm uh, very overpowered. <laughs> I'm very overpowered. And keep in mind, this is the highest difficulty, too. <laughs> Ow. Good job. Go off, I like very neon lighty this place is. Cool. You know what? Maybe this place isn't all that bad. I get to live in like a glow in the dark golf course. <laughs> My favorite locations. Look, we're like glowing a little bit. And some of you lie, there's light. Ah! There's light when there's explosions. Can't really beat that. <laughs> I didn't think of that! <laughs> light eliminates when explosions happen. 
Unless it's like a dark cloud. Does this thing even have a name? I don't even remember if this thing even has a name. Thank you. Spin! Spin, Goofy, spin! Yeah! Man, I wish I can spin like Goofy. Oh, now we gotta take all these. Well, oh. oh. I was gonna take out the wieners, but that's pretty cool too. We could go get Godonald back. Donald! Oh. He had a lot worse. He was dealing with these guys. The invisibles, which they're not invisible. <laughs> I read all of the information about some names of the Heartless. Speaking of, you know what I need to do after this? I can just reload the save file. We need to read the answer reports. I completely forgot to do that before the fight, but it's all good. <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> so cool looking. The color palette, I love it. It's very fleshy. That's what makes it really creepy looking. That's something you would see like, uh, American McGee's Alice. I love it. I love the nightmare fuel. Give me more. I want more in Kingdom Hearts. Page four, please. Make someone bleed. <laughs> that sounds so scary sounding. Time to beat up Jack Skeleton. He is trapped. I will save. I will save. You are dead. You know, if you were to make something so massive like this, expect- Whoa! Sora was doing some fun moves. Expect, um, it to be taken down immediately. <laughs> the one I can immediately think of is like that massive, like, I don't even know what it was. It was from like the Thief and the Cobbler. It's that giant contraption. It's like that thing was meant to be knocked down and destroyed. God, I love that movie. I'll never stop talking about Thief and the Cobble. Recobble cut. Always recobble. Alright, this is the, the final... Final form. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> be quiet, Ansem. We get it. You like darkness. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! <laughs> I have ever beaten this man. It, it, ma'am, man. It really is probably because I'm level 100 and with the ultimate weapon and with all like the best items, I, I can't even speak. Wow. What is it? Like, oh my god, it's 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes I've been filming. We're already at the. <laughs> we already beat the final boss. <laughs> well. <laughs> it is futile. The Keyblade alone cannot seal the door to darkness. Yes, it can. Kingdom Hearts. Fill, Fill me with, with the, the power, power of darkness. darkness. So I was like, that's not true. Supreme darkness. I think. Oh. I know now, without a doubt. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts, Hearts is, is light. Is <laughs> ah! Oh my God. <laughs> light. Light. But why? I never heard him say it like that. I don't remember that. Light. <laughs> Man, that was too good. Thanks, Ansem. Handsome, Ansem, now he's dead some. Come on. <gasps> My gosh! You don't understand, Donald. Huh? You won't believe your eyes. I only see darkness in the skies. <laughs> that looks so freaky, I like it. 
I can't. It's gross. Don't give up. Ah. Come on, Sora. Ah. Together we can do it. Riku. Okay. Whoa, okay. Aw. You're gonna crush your fingers. <laughs> oh, Sora, hold on, hold on. Ah, ah! <laughs> The dark siders have returned. Dark side, dark sider, I don't know. It's one of the two. We're gonna die. Oh. You know so much in the future Kingdom Hearts games and you look back and you're like, wow. So what? Who could it be? <laughs> Mickey Mickey! <laughs> Gorsh, why don't you have a shirt on? Oh. But no. Don't worry. There will always be a door to the light. Sora, you can trust King Mickey. Now, they're coming. Donald, Luffy, thank you. I'll take care of her. Ah, Riku! <laughs> when you walk away. Wait, that's not it yet. Ah! Yes, the sun's a soft look for Sora. I need to stop. <laughs> oh, what the heck? My keyblade. <laughs> that's not Ultima Weapon. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Precious memories. <laughs> Aww. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I was like, how did I get here? <laughs> the game <laughs> well i have to replace this music or else i'm gonna get copyright to hell <laughs> simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel i need to cover the song i kind of did for like the 20th anniversary of kingdom hearts oh. i think it's on my channel <laughs> it is <laughs> it's still my channel i believe i don't know wow this still holds up really well Pants look way more flatter than they are, like, in-game render model. They're more poofier in the game. I kind of always forget how much KH1 actually has, like, a bittersweet end. It's like, Kairi's safe, you know, the main villain's, like, defeated. However, it's like, ah, oh, now Riku is gone with the king, and it's like, ah. Oh. There, and also Sora being separated from everyone. <laughs> separated from Kairi, separated from Riku. It's like, aww. God, it looks so clean. So, so iconic. Even though I'm biased and I like Sanctuary more because I played two first, but man, simple and clean. It's a slap. It's a slap. Big slap. <laughs> I'm 
still, I like this. This is so. This still looks really fantastic. It definitely. I mean, they were made around the same time. It's gonna like make reference to like Final Fantasy like ten. It's like both those games, like this and ten, really hold up really well. Also, now thinking about it, we were already at ten by like two thousand and like what one two. It's crazy. I never really thought about that. I'm like, wow, forgot how many like Final Fantasy games that like really popped out. <laughs> This is my ear. Aww. It's so sweet. Will we ever see that? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I like how flat, like, fast that was. Good lord. Dead and Amora. Thanks to you, this has been my lifelong obsession. <laughs> Um, it's always, I always say this at like, the end of like every LP, but man, it's always so satisfying to like, beat a game. Especially if it's like one that you like, have a lot of fun with. And I do that with like games that I've never played before, but I, I like going back to games that I know semi-decently well, or like know really well. But man, even, <laughs> I, I know there are some moments in this game where I, I was just like, rah, but... That's just me not knowing all the in and outs of one. But man, I love this game. And I, I feel like oh, like every single time I play like any Kingdom Hearts game in like the hardest mode, I appreciate even more. And this game, this game, you know, grinding up and leveling up and getting all these like rad abilities. This game's really fun. <laughs> like when you're at like the pinnacle at like a really high level and you get like all these rad abilities. So fun. This game was so much fun. Absolute joy to come back to this game. I love you. I, I always do that at the end of everything she orchestrates. I love her music. Yoko Shiomaru, can you sign my arm? Can I get a tattoo? Oh my god. I bet someone's done that. Yoko Shiomaru got like a sign thing on their arm. It's like, I'm gonna get this tattooed. But is it really authentic then? <laughs> Can you tattoo this on me, Yokoshima? I don't know if you're not probably a tattoo artist, you're just a music, like a composer, but <laughs> what if? <laughs> that would be like the only time I would ever actually get a tattoo. <laughs> Look, I thought about like the obvious stuff, like the crown or like palper fruit. I like tattoos, I just would never get them on my skin. It's like, eh. But yeah, fun, fun, fun game. Like, I can't even remember the last time I actually beat this game. It's been like years. Aww. So sweet. I love it. This game's so much fun. I I don't know what to say because it, it comes to like, oh, I love the, the orchestra thing at the end of this game. It's so good. It doesn't give me goosebumps like 2 does, but it's still really good. It's, I like the beginning part a bit. It's, it's nice. Of course I'll let it play out. It's, it's nice. <laughs> Wow, that is so compressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is that much more pixelated than the little things in two? Wow. <laughs> sorry, I was like doing this and then I, I saw how pixelated that was, but it's from 2002. It's whatever. <laughs> oh, it's Cloud. Oh my god, Aerith, it's Cloud. Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't remember this. And they kiss. <laughs> He's a real boy! <laughs> I know I love that. He did it, he became a real boy. He's so hyped. Look at him. I'm still always weirded up by like his human form, even though it's just his nose is long. <laughs> ah, Jasmine, you only had two lines. Oh, oh, oh gar. I always said Garth, that's not goofy! <laughs> it's genie. He goes, do <laughs> He's Homer. <laughs> He goes, do Hey, there they are. There's Waka, Sophie, and Titus. Titus. I don't even know which game. No, Sophie's an eight. 
See, the only Final Fantasy I ever played was like 15, a little bit of the original 7. That's pretty much it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 I really need to play more Final Fantasy games. I mean, 16 is coming out this year, and I gotta pre-order it. I gotta get like the cool special edition thing. Not sure about the figure though. Anyways, let's talk about Kingdom Hearts because that's where we're at right now. But yeah, no, I, I pleasantly had a jolly good time with this game, even when things were just a little bit frustrating. Like, Ursula fight, yeah, that one was, uh, I could have been a little more smarter with that. It's also me just not really remembering the gimmick of it. Um, <laughs> I think what I call the Hell Room, I think, um, I could have, uh, gotten a better heal at that point, as well as just, um, no, 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 I think that was it. I just needed to, like, have a better heal, because I didn't talk to Aerith, so. Hail the Jaws, but David and Hayden and Billy and David. There's a lot of Davids. I'm David, yes. Good job, David. I liked your monotone squall. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, Corey Burton, yeah. Jim Cummings, uh, who else do I recognize? I mean, like, there's a lot of names that are just, like, iconic in a... In the sense that they're always somewhat associated with Disney or projects with Disney. But, oh my god, we're not even, like, at an hour. <laughs> I kind of forget how fast the final boss is in this game. Maybe it was the fact that I was probably really overleveled for this, but I don't know. Like, even, like I said, this is, like, crowd in this game is the highest you can go. There's, like, no critical in this game, I believe. From what I remembered, I picked the the hardest mode, I believe. I don't know, I started filming the first part in 2023, but... I mean 2023, 2022. Um, so I don't really remember, but I'm assuming this is the highest level that you can go in this game. And then everything else is like, critical! 99! I'm like, why are you capping at 99? I still don't understand that. It's like, just go one more! It's like Pokemon going to like, level 99 in Pokemon. People will be so mad about that, it's like, go to 100! But no, this game, simple, simple, and clean story. It's, it's, it's definitely one of the most, um, simplest Kingdom Hearts, I guess you could say. This is where it all started. A lot of the more heavier plot stuff didn't come until, like, later. Like, you got, like, sprinkles of, like, the more, uh, heavier story stuff that goes down the line. But that's why we need to read the Ansem reports. Because I actually don't remember, um, what they tell in this game. I... I really need to go back and play this game often because this game is generally really fun and uh, I really do hope that all you lovelies enjoyed it. I, I use Kingdom Hearts, like how can I not enjoy Kingdom Hearts? It's, it's a series that always, always puts me in a great mood and it's always been there for me for the roughest of times. So it's, I've, I've, I'll always say this probably at the end of the game too. I'm always happy that Kingdom Hearts existed. I'm glad the elevators, <laughs> I'm glad the elevator was there for them to be like, what if? <laughs> and that if became this. <laughs> and I love it. Hey, Woo! But is that all? You get to see Chopper in the background. <laughs> oh, where, what is this? <laughs> That one, Goofy, how did you change your clothes? Maybe Donald had a magical suitcase. Also, that was their beta designs of the beta version case, so. We've gotta find Riku and King Mickey. But, uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? I love this cutscene, because I'll point out a, a Goofy thing. <laughs> Pluto is just a godly entity. <laughs> hey Pluto, where have you been? I thought you were back at the castle. Gosh, that's King Seal. Gosh, were you the evil villain? Seen King Mickey? Goofy, communicate. He's a dog too. Wait, wait, wait watch, watch Pluto's. Wait, hold on. You gotta watch Pluto's model. <laughs> Wait, Let's hold on. Go. Is it gonna do it? It doesn't do it in this one! Oh, I thought it did this! Maybe it was only in two when the flashbacks happened, because, like, when he's, like, running up the hill, he, like, slides. Like, he doesn't have a running animation. He just goes, like, eee. How did- Wait, I'm so confused. If they had that cutscene with him running, the why is that even- I- 
<laughs> but they had the cutscene with Pluto running. Oh my god, a new just like mind blown. <laughs> I, I thought that was the thing that existed in one. Maybe they fixed in the final mix version. Oh, remember Sora, you are the one who will open the door to the light. Heck yeah, he will. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get the thing? Are we gonna get it for the first time in my life when I play a, this game? But yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I'm being quiet for this one. And he's be like, oh. I defeated 9,999 Heartless! How did I do that? I don't know. 125 defeated, so... Uh, 925. 3,697. Uh, 149 usage. Curative spells cast... 10. 10! <laughs> Only 10! <laughs> Oops. I am the Keyblade Master. <laughs> we done did it. We beat one. We have one. We. I'm gonna check on my dog and then we're gonna read those ants and reports. Ants and reports. Because we didn't read any of them and I really wanted to. I was gonna do it before the fight, but I forgot. So, ants and report one. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Let us all doubt that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and re respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart, I have witnessed it many times. 
Darkness. Darkness at the heart. How is it born? How does it come to affect us? As a ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to, the ta to those taken by the darkness. Two. It is my duty to expose what is what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiment. Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate darkness in a pure heart. Help suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments caused the test subject's heart to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fra fragile, ugh, how fragile our hearts are. My treatments produce no signs of recovery. I confined those who have completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Some time later, I went below and was greeted by the sightest, the strangest sight: creatures that seem born of darkness. What are they? Are they true sentient beings? Could there be the shadow of those who lost their heart in my experiment? Oh, the answer number part three. The shadow of that clock beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts? Or incarnations of dark of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has proven no answer. One thing I'm sure of is that they are entirely devoted of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of a heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. I still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them heartless. You know what? Me too. <laughs> the heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non-living samples. They've responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing some from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who've lost their heart and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the heartless become heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confined in this hypo hypothesis. I must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence. How do they communicate with them? It just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? To study heartless behavior, I picked out of- I picked out- of that. I picked one out of observ observation. It wiggled an, an, an antenna as- and as if sensing a target, headed deep into the castle. In the deepest part of the castle, its antennas began vibrating, as it's searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I'd never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole, but it didn't seem to be locked. So I opened the door. What I saw on the other side mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night, I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? Oh, shoot. <laughs> a massive core of energy laid beyond the door sought by the Heartless. It may, be, it may well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis based on my observation of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on others' hearts, and they yield for the energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart, too. The heart of this world. There is no proof, but having felt that immense energy, I am certain that's where the heart of the world. The heartless are trying to take heart not only from the li all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they what what do they mean to do with the heart of the world? I'm now studying martial. I almost I thought he almost said martial like arts. Like yeah, I'm now studying martial fo from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find! The material is foreign to our world. It is ecstatic to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. Now, none of the re ugh, none of the records I scored even mention such a subside substance. What what is in, in ugh, what is introduced to this world when I opened that door? Sorry, my reading is. Oof. <laughs> I wonder how many other such material drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I can soar off and find out. Could there be uncharted worlds out there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners to this tiny place. Sound familiar? <laughs> there is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and the mysteries shrouded the heart. As a start, I have built a, divide, a device that artificially creates Heartless. But recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the combination of all my research thus far. The machine's test run successfully created a Heartless. This may be a step towards creating a Heartless from nothing. The artificially and naturally created Heartless show nearly I uh, identical traits, but the two type remained distance from the purpose of this experiment. So I will mark this one that are created artificially. 
simply astonishing. <laughs> Today I have, guests from another, I have a guest from another world. He is a king, and his vessel is built of material that composed the meteors. He calls the pieces gummy blocks. It seems that my opening that door has opened a path to inner world travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest. That of a key called the Keyblade. The Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says it wields its wielder saved the world, while another says he wrought, wrought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this Keyblade is. A key open door. A key opens doors. It must be connected to that door that I have opened. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said for the stars in the night sky. A deep event each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desires those hearts, born out of the darkness in people's hearts. They seek to return to the greater heart. Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts, as does the darkness. It is the core of what world's hearts in the world of the heartless. I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and purge into the depths of darkness. Opening the door to the world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. This example why these gummy blocks can travel freely to the other worlds. I know that cata cata cataclyst? Oh, the cataclyst of this collapse. The appearance of the heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to revive each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a keyblade, making the heart forever unattainable. I must take action before the wielder of this key appears in this world. If the princesses and the keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I chose a girl. I've chosen a girl. I don't know if she holds the princess's power, but I will find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. I shall set her free and observe. Boy, <laughs> the body is gone. <laughs> the heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet nothing. This one is unlike any others. Its memory remains, and it has yet to take the form of a heartless. A close eye must be kept on the situation. It must be still unknown. To get to the realm of darkness, one must go through the door of Kingdom Hearts, the place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness resides. Details should be uh, archived in a separate report. <laughs> I like the little detail, what? There are many worlds in existence, some which we do no know nothing about. The world in which we live, the realm of darkness, the realm of light, the world in between. Wherein lies true Nirvana. The last one. Where does the body go when it separates from the heart? If the soul remains within the body, is it still considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears, but that is merely true in this world. Perhaps the body exists into another form in another world. If that is the case, then it's possible for one to exist in two worlds. A being that is neither dark nor light, belonging nowhere, abandoned by its heart, a mere shell of its former self. The realm, the relations between the heart and the body is complex. However, I am certain that if you yourself exist here, then by definition the other can not truly exist. The other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. Play KH2. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Actually, I'm gonna see theater. Oh. Does it just start from the beginning of the game? Oh, okay. A secret. Another. Wait, there's two? Wait, there's another story. Wait, what? <laughs> Did we saw we didn't see this one. <laughs> Wait. We didn't see this one! <laughs> Shoot! Welcome to my AMV! We didn't see this one. We saw the other one, but not this one. Weird. Well, good thing I <laughs> good thing I clicked on the theater mode. Oh, who could that be? <laughs> Who can that be? <laughs> God, this still looks really good. <gasps> He's like, I love you. <laughs> Oh my god. 
god. This is Kyrie. <laughs> it's crazy that they went with like a totally different design. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I <laughs> clicked on that. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if they have like the alternate cutscenes, because that would be really cool if they added that in. I could actually show that really quickly. I need the one for Neverland. Never Neverland. I don't think they do. I don't think they would put like the alternate cutscenes. I think they'd only put like the 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 canon ones in. I don't know why I did quotations, I just put the canon ones in. Uh, let's play it again. <laughs> yeah, I was right, it, was, it only is proud. Okay, anyways, I'll put it on the load. Um, thanks for watching this LP. Um, I now have fully done, I guess you could say, like, the, the, um, the, the trilogy titles. Like, one, two, three. You can watch all of them now on YouTube. If you want to know what all that secret ending stuff is, watch my two Let's Play. Uh, that one's about, like, what, four years old at this point? And then, well, I, I will do the other side games in the future, but I'm taking a little bit of a break from Cage uh, stuff right now to focus on games I haven't played before. But I want you lovelies to let me know which Kingdom Hearts games I should play next when I get the chance to actually get in the mood and be like, yeah, I'll play more Kingdom Hearts. Do you want Chain of Memories? Do you want Birth by Sleep? Heck, do you want 358 slash two days or recode it? Because I, I have a game capture card on my DS, so I can totally do that. Or we can just like watch the cutscenes, I don't know, we'll decide. <laughs> um, definitely let me know. Um, and after that, uh, I've done like everything else at this point. At least the ones that I can play, like do like full Let's Plays of. But yeah, that is the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. If you want to see it all again, there's a playlist for it. Uh, once again, a huge, huge thank you for Canary Witch for making the thumbnail for this LP. She always does superb work, so please follow her stuff in the description below. Uh, very talented. Always support your artist. Absolutely. Oh, you shouldn't look at Riku here. That's a spoiler for two. <laughs> Shoot. But block him. Um, <laughs> block Riku. Um, so yeah. Um, fan fantastic fun game. I, I've had a blast doing this whole LP. This this whole LP has actually been one of my favorites I filmed in a long while, so yeah, it's been really fun. And uh, I got some other LPs coming up soon to games that I haven't even played before, so keep an eye out for both Neo, The World Ends With You, because I'm returning to that, as well as the next game on the channel, Sonic Frontiers, a game that I haven't touched yet and I've been dying to play it, so that's coming up on the channel soon, so I appreciate all your lovely support. Um, I know that I'm a little bit slow when it comes to uploading at some points, and that's sometimes why some LPs take forever. And, uh, you know, whoever watches it, maybe small or huge, I appreciate, uh, anyone taking the time to watching this video, or even having us background noise. I do that for games, uh, like, Let's Plays too. I love, like, just listening to, like, LPs and stuff, and just, like, doodling or doing something else, but I, I really appreciate it, like... I appreciate anyone who just takes the time to just watch my stuff, so... I love you! <laughs> You're great! You're amazing! Um, but yeah, uh, I will see you lovelies in the next video, or the next Let's Play that I have going on right now, so... Uh, I'll just say this, may your heart be your guiding key, and you have to figure out what that means. <laughs> Thank you to parts! <laughs> Peace, lovelies!